बहुत केसेस में ऐसा होता है कि पहला सवाल ये होता है कि यार तुमको अकल नहीं है तुमको पता नहीं था कि इसके पास नहीं जाना चाहिए या ऐसे ही किसी पे बिलीव नहीं करना चाहिए उससे क्या होता है कि वो बंदा अब, अब एक पर्सन ने उसको इस तरह बोल दिया तो उसको ये लगेगा कि अब मैं किसी को भी जाके बोलू तो दैट इम्पैक्ट माई यू नो रेपुटेशन शुड आई कंटिन्यू विद माई जॉब और नॉट ओके फ्रॉम दैट टू माई रिलेशनशिप इज नॉट वर्किंग आउट यू नो वॉट आई डोंट नो वॉट आई एम डूइंग इन लाइफ I I just have no clue. <laughs> uh, if I get up in morning, I mm-hmm. don't even want to get out of bed because I don't know what I'm doing during the day. First of all, I would not convince you. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, let's not say convince me. Uh, explain it to me. I would say convince me. No, okay. It's up to uh, me. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. No, let me let me explain why I said that. <laughs> नमस्कार आप सुन रहे हैं द क्रिएटिव जिंदगी पॉडकास्ट विद मी गौरव सिन्हा इन दिस एपिसोड वी कंटिन्यू आर डिस्कशन विद स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ कोच डेजी एंड वी डिस्कस स्पिरिचुअलिटी रिलीजन रोल ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल कोच इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ स्लोइंग डाउन इन लाइफ फाइंडिंग द करेक्ट बैलेंस इन लाइफ एंड आर रिलेशनशिप एंड मच मोर तो अगर आपने पिछला एपिसोड अभी तक नहीं सुना है तो आई वुड हाईली रिकमेंड टू pause right here and go back to the part 1 of the discussion before continuing further there is more of a systemic uh, failure here theek hai uh, first of all uh, hum kis cheez ko spirituality bol rahe hain wo bahut matter karta hai theek hai there is a big difference between spirituality and religion and an, an extreme of thought which can go in the cultish or occult territory also occult is still a like you know a, a very different form of spirituality and religion but uh, this cult type of thing is something which uh, harms most of the people uh, religion in its uh, you know true essence in uh, in a mild form as people in general people practice uh it is good it gives them support it gives them certain rituals and daily practices and uh, you know a routine a feeling of routine which is good for their mental health okay um i would um, i mean um, i would see it more as a mental health support uh, you know uh, more than anything else because it it really gives you that uh, you know strength uh mm-hmm. spirituality is as i see it ye ek exploration hai theek hai jab hum hum apne bare mein zyada janna chahte hain jab hum apne beliefs ko apni personality ko apne characteristics ko explore karna chahte hain hum ye samajhna chahte hain ki jab hum hum sawal karne lagte hain who am i why am i here वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ माई लाइफ इस तरह के सवाल द डीपर क्वेश्चन एंड हम उनको दूसरों के स्टैंडर्ड से जस्टिफाई करने की बजाय खुद से उनके जवाब ढूंढना चाहते हैं दैट इज मोर ऑफ अ स्पिरिचुअल जर्नी फॉर पीपल अब आप उसमें प्रैक्टिस आप कहीं से भी ले सकते हो वो आपकी साइकोलॉजी से प्रैक्टिस आ सकती हैं वो आपकी रिलीजन से प्रैक्टिस आ सकती हैं द ultimate goal is the exploration of your spirit or your soul expansion of your soul so that part is spirituality jab hum kisi ek insaan ko blindly follow karne ki baat karte hain for me that falls more um, i'm sorry for using this word and uh, i hope nobody gets offended but that for me sounds more of a uh it gives more of a cultish vibe it is yeah okay. yeah so wahan pe jo hai kyunki agar hum ye cheez samajhte hain ki jaise hum insaan hain kya hum apne aap se ye expect karte hain ki hum ekdam perfect hain hum bhi galtiyan karte hain hum bhi aisi cheeze karte hain jo harmful ho sakti hain to hum ye kisi aur se aise expect क्यों कर रहे हैं कि ये इंसान ये पर्टिकुलर बाबा ये पर्टिकुलर पर्सन इज परफेक्ट 
वो जो कहेंगे हम वो चीज ब्लाइंडली फॉलो करेंगे यू नो दैट दैट इज अ थॉट प्रोसेस दैट नीड्स टू चेंज सेकेंडली आई फील यू नो कि दिस 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 काइंड ऑफ डिजायर ऑफ टेकिंग एडवांटेज ऑफ पीपल हु आर इन ट्रबल दैट इज ऑल्सो इट इज कॉमन बट it gives me that very icky sort of <laughs> feeling and that kind of uh, we see most of the time when we see these kind of people who mm-hmm. are uh, you know using these tricks to take advantage of uh, you know people who are vulnerable or who are putting their trust in them uh, so this this whole situation just gives me a very um, um you know kind of icky vibes in a way and mm-hmm. if i look at it in terms of how do we start the reform here i think it comes uh, with increase first of all increasing the awareness and reducing the stigma around victims अगर आपको कोई अगर कोई आकर के बोल mm-hmm. रहा है कि मेरे साथ ये गलत हुआ है वहां पे तो बहुत केसेस में ऐसा होता है कि पहला सवाल ये होता है कि यार तुमको अकल नहीं है तुमको पता नहीं था कि इसके पास नहीं जाना चाहिए या ऐसे ही किसी पे बिलीव नहीं करना चाहिए तो उससे क्या होता है कि वो बंदा अब अब एक पर्सन ने उसको इस तरह बोल दिया तो उसको ये लगेगा कि अब मैं किसी को भी जाके बोलू तो दैट impacts my uh, you know reputation so a lot of people who have been wronged would not even come out and say that i have been wronged by these people because of mm-hmm. this stigma because of this uh, you know further harming the victims process which i feel ki yahan pe jo hai ek uh, compassionate understanding ki zarurat hai ki अपनी इच्छा से कोई भी पागल नहीं बनना चाहता है अपनी इच्छा से कोई भी डिफ्रॉड नहीं होना चाहेगा mm-hmm. है ना तो हमें वहां पे वो थोड़ा सा कंपैशन दिखाने की जरूरत है कि यस यू प्रॉबली डिड मेक अ मिस्टेक बाय ट्रस्टिंग दिस पर्सन बट यू आर नॉट रॉन्ग द पर्सन हु डिड रॉन्ग इज द वन हु इज रॉन्ग so this support system has to be stronger for more and more people to come out and share their stories and i hope people do taki jo log galat kar rahe hain unke unke khilaf itne sare stories aur itne sare evidences honge tab ki shayad log baki ke log jo is tarah ki cheezon pe jo jo un pe shayad believe kar sakte the ya jo shayad unke shikar ban sakte the नहीं बनेंगे। जब मुझे दिखते हैं लोग बिल्कुल ब्लाइंडली ऐसे बात करते हुए कि नहीं यार ये दिक्कत है हम तो वहां जाएंगे जी उस बाबा के पास जाएंगे फलाने ढिकाने के पास तो उस वक्त ना मतलब समझ में नहीं आता कि उनको कैसे कन्विंस करे क्योंकि उनका तो माइंड उस टाइम पे ऐसा होता है कि नहीं नहीं फॉलो करना ही करना है तो वेल hmm. सेड uh, well कि जब ऐसी अवेयरनेस आएगी लोग खुल के बताएंगे और हम थोड़े से कम्पैशनेट होंगे थोड़े से आई मीन थोड़े से मोर ह्यूमन होंगे उनकी स्टोरी hmm. सुनने में चाहे वो किसी भी मीडियम से कोई डायरेक्टली नहीं भी आ रहा बी इट थ्रू आई मीन सम न्यूज और सोशल मीडिया भी अगर हम उसको एटलीस्ट शेयर ही कर दें तो अवेयरनेस तो वहां से भी कुछ ना कुछ आएगी तो इट कैन हेल्प अदर्स we And have then, to be compassionate yeah. towards people who are actually the blind believers also mm-hmm. because there is uh, you know this thing ki uh, people don't just blindly believe something randomly also right unki life mein bhi kuch aisa hua hoga कि जहां पे दे वर इन पेन एंड देन दिस पर्सन प्रोबेबली शोड देम यू नो सम सॉर्ट ऑफ सपोर्ट और दे प्रोबेबली हैव सॉर्ट ऑफ ट्रॉमा बॉन्ड फॉर ऑल आई नो बट वहां पे भी कुछ तरह का कुछ कुछ रीजन है वो यू नो उतना बॉन्ड होने का 
तो इंस्टेड ऑफ जस्ट अज्यूमिंग की यार दिस पर्सन इज नेवर गोइंग टू चेंज और दिस पर्सन इज दे आर यू नो दे बिलीव इन द रॉन्ग थिंग्स दे आर इंटेंशनली हार्मिंग अदर पीपल बाई बिलीव believing in wrong things i think we should be compassionate towards them also and try to understand the reason behind their beliefs as well because it can shed some light on uh, you know what kind of conversation is required with those kind of people अगर आप उनको एलिनेट कर देते हो तो आप एक काफी बड़ी पॉपुलेशन को वहां पे एलिनेट कर दोगे कि जिनसे आप एक कन्वर्जेशन हो सकता था जहां पे सी दिस इज अ गिवन कि कुछ लोग तो कभी नहीं अपना स्टैंड बदलेंगे ठीक है लेकिन वहां पे उसमें से अगर आप फाइव परसेंट लोगों को भी इस स्टैंड पे ला सकते हो कि दे आर दे स्टार्ट क्वेश्चनिंग दिस तो वहां पे देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी कि उनके लिए फ्यूचर में हार्म बंद हो सकता है सो इन जनरल कंपैशन इन एवरी इंटरक्शन is uh, a a basic requirement i wouldn't say it is you know something big you we can do but it is it's a basic requirement yep excellent reminder uh, that we should be empathetic empathetic and uh, the compassion should be there or uh, mm-hmm. in a way everyone is dealing with their i mean one issue or other kuch na kuch dikkat hai tabhi wo i mean uh, they are hoping to find solutions here and there so very very good point and i hope i can inculcate uh, some of them at least agli baar koi aisa hoga to in fact i do this uh, i try to do this uh, uh, one of my philosophy is ki ab ek main ek bar samjha deta hu aur uh, at least once agar aisa kuch mujhe dikhta hai not towards baba mm-hmm. or something agar koi aur bhi discussion kahi ho rahi hai be it online or in person तो मैं एक बार ट्राई जरूर करता हूँ कि उस उसको पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू रख दूँ कि अच्छा ये अवेयरनेस वाली बात है ये सही है ये गलत है आफ्टर वन आफ्टर ट्राइंग वंस बेसिस ऑन द रिस्पॉन्स व्हिच आई गेट देन आई डिसाइड कि वेदर इट इज फ्रूटफुल टू इन्वेस्ट माय टाइम इन दैट पर्सन और नॉट सो दैट इज समथिंग विच आई फॉलो इट मे नॉट बी द करेक्ट अप्रोच बट या it is it is a very good approach because uh, yes you have to show the compassion to other people but uh, you have to show that compassion to yourself also and uh, butting heads with people <laughs> jo bahut hi strong hai apne views mein ya jinko aapki baat se koi farak nahi pad raha hai jahan pe mm-hmm. aapko emotional harm zyada hone wala hai when you walk out of that conversation that is you showing self love and compassion towards yourself which is a very very valid response yep. please keep doing that yep and in a way those kind of person who are uh, uh, let's say let's use the word narcissist or uh, जो एक साइकोलॉजिकल टेंडेंसी होती है विच विच इज देयर इन मोस्ट ऑफ अस तो जिनमें ये ज्यादा होती है वो दे एंजॉय दे एंजॉय द केस और द और द आर्ग्यूमेंट्स तो ये जैसे होता है ना कि अगर अब कैक्टस है वो अगर डेजर्ट में होता है रेगिस्तान में सो इट इट सरवाइव इट थ्राइव देयर बट आप अगर वहां जाओगे तो आप प्यासे मर जाओगे तो वो होता क्या है कि ये जो ऐसे लोग होते हैं अगर जिनको नहीं समझना वो दे स्टार्ट इंजॉइंग इट कि आप अपना सर पीट रहे हो और दे विल इंजॉय इट सो इट्स बेटर टू कीप ए सीन माइंड एंड स्टेप अवे वेन वेन इट्स द राइट टाइम यप एंड अनदर क्वेश्चन विच आई हैड फ्रॉम वेन यू से आई हैड दिस इक्की फीलिंग जब हम ये बाबा के बारे में बात कर रहे थे बाबा बोलना भी थोड़ा सा कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल है जो ये आई वुड से जो फ्रॉड होते हैं जो सिंपल सिंपल जो कि एक्चुअल में नहीं है तो लेट्स नॉट कॉल इट बाबा जो फ्रॉड्स होते हैं तो वेन यू से आई हैव दिस इक्की फीलिंग तो ऐसा इफ आई से समथिंग अबाउट वट यू डू दिस इज समथिंग न्यू इन इंडिया आई वुड से जो स्पिरिचुअल जैसे सर्टिफिकेशन होती है वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड ऑल्सो डेट दिस ही इज ऑल्सो ए सर्टिफाइड कोच स्पिरिचुअल कोच लाइक यू 
when a uh, lay person comes to know about this wahan pe doubt hote hain for example main hi main apni baat kar lo to kai baar mujhe lagta hai ki yaar ye log bhi to kahin na kahin fayda hi utha rahe hain na ki uh, aren't they just influencers ki influence kar rahe hain bahut aapki following hai achhi khasi insta pe ya aur social media pe ya youtube pe और जिन लोगों को डाउट्स हैं जो यंगस्टर्स हैं अभी जिनको अभी समझ में नहीं आ रहा लाइफ में या फिर इफ दे आर गोइंग थ्रू सम सम क्राइसिस इन देयर लाइफ तो ये भी तो कहीं ना कहीं तो फायदा ही उठा रहे हैं सो आई एम श्योर यू हैव ए वैलिड रीजन टू काउंटर दिस बिकॉज जो एक एक और डाउट होता है ये होता है कि इसके पीछे साइंस क्या है है ना क्योंकि हमें अगर लॉजिक कुछ दिख रहा है तो वी एक्सेप्टेड अगर कोई साइकोलॉजी पढ़ के आया है वो समझा रहा है तो हम समझ जाएंगे अच्छा इसके पास कुछ नॉलेज है या कुछ उसने पढ़ाई की है ऑब्वियसली यू हैव आल्सो स्टडीड समथिंग एक्सप्लोर्ड समथिंग एक्सपेरिमेंटेड फ्यू थिंग्स सो हाउ वुड यू कन्विंस मी एज ए ले पर्सन की वट एवर यू आर डूइंग इज नॉट टेकिंग एडवांटेज ऑफ पीपल एंड डूइंग समथिंग ट्रूली व्हिच इज हेल्पफुल एंड बेनिफिशियल फॉर अदर्स आई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड नॉट कन्विंस यू ओके लेट्स नॉट से कन्विंस मी एक्सप्लेन इट टू मी आई वुड से कन्विंस होना तो इट्स अप टू मी या यू आर राइट या नो लेट मी लेट मी एक्सप्लेन व्हाई आई सेड दैट सी कन्विंसिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड वेयर आई एम ट्राइंग टू मेक यू बिलीव समथिंग व्हिच इज अगेंस्ट योर लॉजिक ओके कन्विंसिंग कम्स देयर इन द पिक्चर ठीक है ऑल आई कैन डू इज आई कैन शेयर माय पर्सपेक्टिव ऑफ हाउ आई स्टार्टेड दिस एंड यस देयर विल बी अदर पीपल इन द सेम और सिमिलर प्रोफेशन हु आर यू नो डूइंग थिंग्स इन द राइट वे एंड डूइंग थिंग्स इन द रॉन्ग वे सो लाइक one person does not represent the whole community uh, i also cannot represent you know all of the people who are in the same profession as such but for me i would say um, it has been more about empowering people in learning the techniques which help them for example if you see on my instagram i have a channel uh the the that broadcast channel it's a new feature that instagram has started and on that every day i share one or the other tip which is a very small tip in general but uh, the people who are following that uh, it's a completely free thing that they can use it in their life okay and if they find it useful they can continue using it the there are people there are my friends uh, and my very well known people who are, who have way more accolades than me but then when they are uh, you know struggling with something i do get a call from them for you know helping them with one or the other issue because we are not we are not you know excellent at everything they are excellent at what they do and when i get in trouble with, with you know their expertise uh, things i call them but when they get get uh, you know they they need me to sort out certain things for them they call me wo ek wo doha hai na jahan kaam aaye so hi kaha kare talwar so usi tarah se jab चाहे उनके पास मुझसे ज्यादा एक्लेट्स हैं मुझसे ज्यादा एक्सपीरियंस है लेकिन जहां पे उन्हें एक इमोशनल सॉर्टिंग की जरूरत पड़ती है तो वो मेरे पास आते हैं ठीक है सेकेंडली कोचेस में और साइकोलॉजिस्ट्स में डिफरेंस होता है क्योंकि एज अ कोच आई डू नॉट डायग्नोस पीपल आई डू नॉट यू नो ट्राई टू treat people who are going through a medical issue even a mental in the mental space not the physical space mm-hmm. but a medical issue in mental health space okay my work is majorly with people jahan pe aapko ek specific problem hai where there is a very good chance if you pick up let's say 10 self help books you might find the answer in that the question is do you have time to go through 10 of those okay right so when you come and talk to a coach uh, or at least uh, uh, when you come and talk to me and you tell me 
hi daisy i have this 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 problem i will try to understand that okay this is uh, what you are going through i will ask you a few questions to get the background of that and then i will tell you that okay there is this particular technique that you can use to sort out your problem why don't you try it for a few weeks okay now okay. i can i also give you the reference reading if uh, you know people come to me that hey i want to read about this particular method i give them the reading material i am perfectly okay with that um so they they read about it they try to implement it in their life and let's say it does not work so mm-hmm. after 2 3 weeks they come back to me it did not work for me okay what was the problem then we try to understand the problem and then we try a different technique where okay. also they can you know source the the other things i tell them this is where i learned this a lot of the solutions i gave are the things which i have personally experimented with like abhi tak maine jitni bhi cheeze share ki hain unme se mostly sab maine personal experiences se share ki hain theek hai to wahan pe main unko ye bhi bata sakti hu ki aapke yahan yahan pe pitfalls ho sakte hain aur ye ye cheez pe aapko thoda sa dhyan dena padega is time pe theek hai to इससे क्या होता है कि जहां तक जो लोग मेरे पास आए हैं उनका सवाल है दे दे नॉट ओनली लर्न कि हम किस तरह की टेक्निक्स यूज कर सकते हैं क्योंकि प्रॉब्लम्स आपके पास दोबारा भी आएंगी ठीक है आपने एक बार ही वो टेक्निक सीख लिया है तो आप दूसरी प्रॉब्लम में उसको यूज कर सकते हो ठीक है सो आई एम नॉट गिविंग वो एक ऐसा वो स्पून फीड नहीं कर रही हूं मैं उनको आई एम काइंड ऑफ हेल्पिंग देम इम्पावर देम सर्व टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन देयर ओन एंड आई ऑल्सो टेल देम दैट मोस्ट ऑफ दीज थिंग्स वर्क विद एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग देर इज नो यूनिवर्सल ट्रूथ इन दिस थिंग की एटलीस्ट दिस इज दिस हैज बीन माई एक्सपीरियंस कि जहां तक देखो मेडिकल फील्ड की बात है वो मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल अच्छे से आपको बता सकते हैं लेकिन जहां तक हम इन जनरल हम लाइफ की बात करते हैं तो उसमें हमारे पास बहुत सारे ऑप्शन हो सकते हैं ठीक है जैसे अगर जो है अगर मुझे ये लग रहा है कि I want to uh, you know feel the uh, feel calm during the day i can choose to do meditation i can also choose to go for a walk whenever i feel you know anxious for some people who have more uh, chaos in terms of thoughts meditation might work better for some people who have a lot of extra physical energy a walk might work better in both the mm-hmm. cases the point is to calm down the energy is enough to feel that calm लेकिन ये आपको तब तक नहीं पता चलेगा जब कि आपके लिए क्या काम कर रहा है जब तक आप उससे एक्सपेरिमेंट नहीं करोगे तो एज अ कोच आई जेंटली गाइड देम टूवर्ड्स बीइंग ओके विद यू नो लर्निंग अबाउट दीज डिफरेंट मेथड्स एंड एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग विद दीज एंड नॉट बीइंग डिस्करेज व्हेन थिंग्स डोंट वर्क आउट इमीडिएटली ओके फेयर इनफ so i ha- i had a discussion with uh, a mental health expert as well uh, when i started this mm-hmm. podcast so mera ek question uh, tha ki how does a lay person know ki usko actual mein kuch uh, aise mental health issues hain kya starting point hai so if i ask mm-hmm. the same question to you so what are those problems which you are mentioning which are not uh, as serious as a mental health issue but you as a yeah. uh, life coach or spiritual coach can help out and how would a person know that okay these are my problems what are those problems jinke liye wo mm-hmm. aapke paas aa sakte hain can you can you list out couple of things so that people get more clarity i get more clarity okay so i have gotten people uh, who have come to me for uh, what do i do uh, should i continue with my job or not okay from yeah. that to my relationship is not working out to you know what i don't know what i am doing in life 
i i just have no clue <laughs> uh, if i get up in morning i mm-hmm. don't even want to get out of bed because i don't know what i'm doing during the day okay i don't feel motivated to do anything in uh, in life i i don't know how to make friends so okay. it's it's more about uh, you know the people have come to me with some sort of chaos in their life uh and one thing which i learned from uh, you know one of the uh, my very good coach friend and i took a couple of sessions from her as well um so she told me this one uh, exercise it called it's called wheel of life uh, you can google it and find it but uh, she was the one who taught me about this technique uh, where you divide the uh, you know different uh, uh, areas of your life and you see how satisfied you are in those areas and uh, the areas where you feel the least amount of satisfaction uh, we start with working on that particular area so for example if someone comes to me saying that you know nothing is going right in my life most likely that person is very much overwhelmed there are things which are going right in their life but they are not able to see it at that moment because some some things have gone wrong one after the other and they have become overwhelmed with that particular feeling so okay. i try to make them sit down calm down a little bit work on that wheel of life see how many important issues uh, important portions are in your life so let's say i ask you what are the most important things in your life six or seven areas what would you say most of the time i get the answers like uh, friends and family mm-hmm. my job and career hobbies uh, uh, my spiritual life or their religious uh, you know practices mm-hmm. um and then uh, if they are uh, single then the romantic life or if uh, you know the the dating or if they they are married then the the life with their spouse so uh, these are some of the, the then financial uh, life so these are some of the areas which are you know which majorly come across some people have very very specific things which are most important to them so they can add that also in that so now let's say th- that person has uh, most of the issues in the financial life now if your basic needs are not fulfilled there is a very good chance that everything else is going to suffer as well because your emotional state your mental health will not be at optimum so then we start working on this thing that okay how do we how do we start sorting out this particular thing now as a coach i cannot solve that problem for you what i can do is help you see that there are possibilities in your life what are those possibilities ha- and help you design this particular path towards those possibilities you get me okay yep yep so that is the uh, the, the major work uh, that i do like guiding people from chaos to yes. harmony in life uh, <laughs> yep so what i gather daisy uh, from my previous discussions and from uh, talking to you is in a way uh, when you started that okay some if kisi ko subah uthne ka mani nahi kar raha hai ya fir usko nahi pata kya karna hai so these are mm-hmm. the same uh, similar uh, symptoms i would say which were mentioned by uh, dr richa when i talked to her that these are the uh, mm-hmm. initial symptoms right so i would say that yeah. you are in a way helping those mental health expert by tackling those issue up front तो उनके पास कम लोग पहुंचेंगे अगर आप पहले ही उनको हाम नहीं दे रहे हो तो सो इन ए वे यू आर डूइंग द सेम काइंड ऑफ वर्क एट 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 द स्टार्टिंग लेवल इससे पहले कि वो बड़ा इशू बन जाए सो यू एज ए लाइफ कोच इज स्टॉपिंग दैट फ्रॉम बिकमिंग इन टू ए मेजर मेंटल हेल्थ और दैट इज वट आई गैदर बिकॉज जो आप जब आपने सिम्टम बताया तो वो कुछ कुछ सिम्टम वैसे ही होते हैं वहां पे भी but if you are able to uh, guide mm-hmm. people and help them rectify it up front mm-hmm. excellent nothing like it 
सोल्यूशन अगर कोई मेरे पास आ रहा है इस तरह की प्रॉब्लम लेकर के जहाँ पे मुझे ये लगता है कि इसका जो सोल्यूशन है वो यू नो लाइफ स्टाइल चेंजेस से सॉर्ट नहीं होने वाला है दिस इज एक्चुअल क्राइसिस मेडिकल क्राइसिस सो गोइंग एंड टॉकिंग टू अ मेंटल हेल्थ प्रोफेशनल इज अ रिकमेंडेशन एंड देन मेकिंग देम फील सेफ कि जस्ट बिकॉज यू आर टॉकिंग टू अ मेंटल हेल्थ प्रोफेशनल डज नॉट मीन दैट there is something wrong with you inherently it does right. not diminish your value as a human being you will still have friends who will love you the same your family mm-hmm. is going to you know be okay with it and they will support you you just have to talk to them about it and if there is there, there is some emotional out, outburst during that then you know uh, just being there to listen to that person uh that is also you know uh, as a coach i do listen to to sometimes people who are going through this turbulence and then uh, once this settles down then we come to the the point where uh, okay fine now let's look at the solution so i do not get in the in in uh, uh diagnosing or in treatment in the medical treatment mm-hmm. but uh sending people to get the diagnosis and get the treatment that is part of recommendations when there is a serious problem okay so let me add that you you don't know that you are uh, doing it but in a way you are uh, uh, doing the same thing because one <laughs> input which i got during my earlier discussion was ki हर चीज के लिए मेडिकेशन या डायग्नोसिस इतना जरूरी नहीं है इफ यू कैन टॉक टू समवन इफ समवन इज रेडी टू लिसन टू यू मोर देन 50 परसेंट जो है इश्यूज वहीं सॉल्व हो जाते हैं सो इन ए वे यू आर डूइंग दैट बट यू आर नॉट टेकिंग द क्रेडिट सो आई विल गिव यू दैट क्रेडिट राइट नाउ थैंक यू सो आई हैव कवर्ड मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच आई हैड अनलेस यू हैव एनीथिंग विच यू वॉन्टेड टू एड आई विल अगेन रिक्वेस्ट यू टू डिसाइड और शेयर एनी पोएम विच विच यू माइट वॉन्ट टू आई हैव अ ब्यूटिफुल वन विच वी कैन यूज टू यू नो दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ क्लोज द डिस्कशन ऑल्सो so this is this is with a with a uh, a message that you don't always have to be in the action mode in a balanced world you would be you know well accepted well loved in every season of your life including the resting period as well okay so this is kind of uh, my message here i know your world is cruel you are called useless if you are not productive you are called lazy if you are not efficient you are called broken if you are not like everyone else but you reject the world that calls you like it is a dirty world it accepts your uh, periods of rest lovingly for a well rested soul is most productive it accepts your desire to slow down for you are not a machine sweetheart it celebrates the time when you heal for you become the best version of yourself with every healing moment in loving embrace so my love i welcome you in this world but remember remove your shoes of disrespect you are about to enter the heaven so this poem is written from this angle uh, that uh, recently jaise abhi hum spirituality mein chahe aap eastern spirituality mein basically aap kahin bhi dekhe to hum usko uh, feminine and masculine bolte hain hum usse yin and yang bolte hain agar hum usse corporate culture mein dekhe to hum usse work life balance bolte hain theek hai but most of the importance is giving to the work but not to the life part of it importance is giving to the action not to the being 
and those yeah. periods of rest those periods of just being those periods of slowing down and taking time to heal those are equally important and those are you know like sometimes i have seen people who you know agar koi kisi ko थोड़े ज्यादा मतलब ये ब्रेक्स चाहिए हैं या इस चीज की जरूरत है तो दे दे कॉल देम वीक दे कॉल देम आई डोंट नो वॉट एवर द टर्म्स विच इज वाई आई सेट दैट यू यू नो यू रिजेक्ट द वर्ल्ड दैट यू नो दैट कॉल्स यू एन इट्स लाइक अ डर्टी वर्ल्ड सो एवरी डर्टी वर्ल्ड इज कॉल्ड to those people who are trying to bring in the life element to their work uh, i mean to 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 you know being to the action as well so mm-hmm. uh, this was kind of a a message to them that yes there is always going to be uh, you know people who are uh, going to uh, uh, reject that but when you are trying to balance keep doing it and if you uh, allow other people to comment on this or you allow the other people to uh, interact with this part of your life remember to remind them to leave mm. their shoes of disrespect outside it's a you know it's a very sacred space of healing so it it's not allowed in that space that was the message of this poetry wonderful wonderful message and and i agree once you start to break the norm because of any reason uh, if you're trying to heal uh, ya yeah, fir what you are doing is uh, challenging the society right jo bhi norm yeah. chal rahe hain jo ki acha khasa bilkul flow mein chal raha hai jisse kuch advantages hain kuch logon ko ya yeah, fir society ko keh sakte hain so when you start to challenge that in any way to wo fir uh, they try to suppress you and yes. it happens at every level as you said uh, w- jab work life balance ki baat karte hain to wahan aa jata hai ki nahi yaar tum mm. ye theek se nahi kar rahe ho tumhara to focus nahi hai whatever aur agar aap aur mm. kisi field mein bhi baat karo to ye aa jata hai ya fir even even in normal relationships bhi aisa hota hai ki hum ek dusre ko partners ko kahin na kahin agar koi apni baat karne lag jaye aur hum wahan se hame threat mm-hmm. ho raha hai हमारी थिंकिंग को या हमारे किसी भी चीज को तो फिर हम उसको भी सप्रेस करने की कोशिश करते हैं कहीं ना कहीं सो राइट सो इट इज योर जर्नी एंड यू हैव टू डिसाइड in in the in the pro, in the personal life space um i was very very inspired by this one incident i would like to share it here okay. um so i met one of my uh, fellow poets and uh, he he was actually dropping a couple of us back uh, home on his way to his house um so on the way he we were talking about uh, you know different things about relationships and all that and he recounted his story of meeting his wife and saying that uh, you know uh, in the first meeting only i said that uh, there are going to be uh, three lives one will be my life one will be your life and one will be the life we create together and this is a very important part which we tend to forget in personal relationships not just the husband wife relationship but in all the relationships if let's say we are talking about uh, you know our parents they also have their own life we are talking about our friends they also have their own life it does not have to always be about a shared life together people can have their own personal space their own personal life their own choices and those should be re- respected equally as we do for the uh, shared spaces and shared lives and shared time so Uh, this was a very very inspirational uh, uh, incident and after that i started looking at my relationships and uh, you know implementing this thing that if someone comes to me saying that i need personal space or if someone is taking some time for themselves uh, i first uh, 
i i would become the person who will not take offense at that or who will not uh, you know who who will put them that okay yes it is their life they have the right on it first um, whatever they decide to give the, from their time and their life energy to me i'm going to be respectful and grateful for that but i'm not going to be entitled to that so that uh, his uh, that that how i started making changes in my relationships and it is the right approach uh, i agree uh, w- uh, what uh, with your friend it cannot be uh, it cannot be one sided or i mean it has to be both ways and when you talk about relationship it has to be together as well so mm-hmm. wo jo wheel of life aapne bataya tha वो भी कहीं ना कहीं ऐसे कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं कि ठीक है ये इसका एक मतलब इसको भी व्हील समझ लें और इसमें तीन हम बना देते हैं सेक्शन मी यू एंड अस और उसको एक साथ लेके चलो तो गुड एग्जांपल एंड समथिंग टू रिमेंबर जब यस दैट इज व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन यू आर लिविंग माइंडफुली एंड लर्निंग फ्रॉम एवरी एक्सपीरियंस एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली यप ओनली देन यू Uh, are able to think about uh, these things and think deeply otherwise yeah. you keep running in the cycle again and again yeah. yep yes true i would just like to ask that if anyone else wants to ask any questions they can and uh, then if if uh, we have a lot of questions we can do another <laughs> another <laughs> episode on that <laughs> covering the questions audience questions <laughs> Yeah yeah that would be great and in fact I I do have a question which I kind of which kind of slipped uh mm-hmm. you have written poems and you do have songs out there right so where can I or yeah. the people uh, find it Yes so the songs are uh, composed and uh, so the, the the musician for that is Abhilash Gupta and okay. his channels on uh, YouTube Spotify um uh, and i think uh, yeah in in uh, most of the the platforms it is there what i will do is i'll send you the link to the channel uh, you can probably include that in the show notes thank you very much for making me feel good and giving me space to uh, share yep and thank you again for uh, giving us a lot of time and uh, reciting your uh, poems and again explaining them in detail answering a lot of questions which i had and some of them may not have been uh, intelligent but you uh, you you kind of clarified it and uh, i'm sure whoever is listening or will listen in future will uh, take away something from this discussion so thank you so much uh, daisy i hope they take away a lot of things too mm-hmm. and uh, yeah let's talk again soon thank you sure thank you आप सुन रहे थे द क्रिएटिव जिंदगी पॉडकास्ट विद गौरव सिन्हा